these curls are next level, y'all. I put my artwork on one of. If this is me giving 60%, we're like, y'all be fucking sick of me. Y'all gonna be like, what the fuck is you doing? Like, what the fuck is I'm doing some knock lots. Knock lots? What did she just say? Lock knots. Okay. <laughs> Keeping them loose so she can have a little hang time. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this look, but we're here. The transition phase. Y'all, I'm super excited. She's back in the studio. She's painting. She's working on things. I haven't been painting as much in my studio because I've been painting for another artist. And that's been super dope. It's been giving me more like the stability that I want, more of just not worrying about my art business per se, but I have been having to like actively make sure I come into my studio, make time for my creative practice. And yeah, like today feels super good. So for me to have like, so I, to, I had work today. So for me to be working earlier this day from 10 a.m. to four, and then I had like a little late lunch and then I came to the studio and then to paint and like work on, some of my paintings just feels really good. It feels really good. And it reminds me that I have an infinite well of creative energy, okay? I see y'all over there vibing out to the creative affirmations video that like, that makes me so happy that people are, are getting life out of that. And I'm like, man, I need to listen to my own creative affirmation video. <laughs> it's abundant, it's infinite. So I'm like, girl, you got more than enough creativity to go around, okay? You haven't, you haven't given it all to your creative job. You go, you work for her, then you come to your studio. You can also work and create for yourself. And so that's what I've been doing. And really this has just been like a fun painting for me. Like since I do work on a lot of paintings that, you know, have like deep messages, you know, something metaphysical or, you know, something going on like in the sort of like esoteric subconscious space, <laughs> you know, it's nice just to have like a little buffer painting, just something that you kind of just like throwing colors around and just having some fun. So that's really kind of what this painting is. And yeah, I'm kind of vibing with it. We'll see what it's gonna be. And we're gonna see what these curls gonna be, okay? Yesterday I went to, shout out to E3 Wines. I went to the wine party that they had the other day. Y'all, they had me out there feeling like a ghetto superstar. <laughs> up ghetto superstar like people that was having me sign their wine bottles and like was like oh my god you're the artist and like that always just feels so good and it really just made my day seeing the whole team over there i love mari she's the sweetest thomas just be like showing my mom mad love okay be giving her look exclusive discount codes just for moms okay y'all so like the love has been real and then after that i went to a brewery with the girls take the international trip but i had no sign no facts so what is it called? It's called A, okay. Let's go. Metier, for real. Metier. Black owned. Black owned. Okay. Okay. We love that. It's a It really is. It's a whole vibe. This is a... And shout out to Metier. It's actually a black owned brewery in the Central District, so. Yeah, she definitely, definitely check him out. And we got to meet the owner, like he was super cool. Like, yeah, it's been great, but I'm pretty tired. I'm at hand home, but I'm very proud of myself. She did many things today.
taking out the lock knot. We shall see what comes of this. So I officially told my boss today that I'm gonna be leaving soon. It's complicated. <laughs> Honestly, ooh, ooh, crinkly, curly. I'm so here for this. Since I did fold them and kept them long, it's kind of only gonna be curly on the tips, which I don't mind at all. So I worked today. It was great. I always have a great time. And I know it's probably like, well, girl, why are you leaving? <sighs> I feel that I experienced what I needed to experience. I just felt like I needed like a pause. I needed a moment to regroup, <laughs> um, step away from what I was doing, learn from another seasoned and experienced artist and see what they're doing. And I really feel like I accomplished that. I really feel like I learned a lot. It's been three months since I'm working there, since I've been working there, which isn't long. But I'm also, y'all, I'm the type of person, it really doesn't take me long <laughs> to, to, to get what I need to get from an experience. And really what I learned, it showed me that honestly, I was kind of running. <laughs> I'm tired of running, okay? Well, I'm always referencing Kendrick Lamar. Tired of running, uh, tired of hunting. And I also feel like I don't need to run anymore. I feel like I'm really gaining clarity. And really, what I wanna do is commit my time to my creative practice. And um, I was talking to the patrons about this on our last create date. And just shout out to my co-creators, okay? Sending so much love to my patrons who have really been on the journey with me Probably, I think going on these past four years, I've been on Patreon and you know, y'all have really been with me through just like the ups and downs of me trying to figure out like how I'm gonna show up in this world with my art, with my career um, on YouTube in so many different ways. And so we had our last create date via Zoom the other day. And um, I was also sharing with them that I feel that I'm grateful to be able to paint for another artist, but it was getting to a point where I'm like, okay, if I'm gonna be painting, I really can be painting for myself, you know? <sighs> this little twig, y'all, like, <laughs> it's twigging. Okay, she's giving. The curls are curling. <laughs> Y'all, if these ain't the most curly <laughs> locks you didn't ever did see. Let me give y'all the full look. Let me give you the full look. Okay, ah! <laughs> these are so curly. Oh my God, oh, not her beat, sorry. Hey, hey. Oh. How you doing? What's going on, Airman? Oh, I'm doing great. You know, I just... Oh, it's probably cute. What color you doing? Yeah. Oh my God, I love that. Was it the um, shop in the Central District? The stylist be coming through. Yeah, I appreciate you even reaching out. Um, one, I had kind of forgot, but two, I was... <laughs> These curls are next level, y'all. Like, honestly, next level. I actually um, just got the phone with Malika. Okay, shout out to Malika of Black Arts Love. That is um, a location in Seattle where I have my artwork up where people can get, what do I have up there? I have greeting cards, candles. No, I just have greeting cards and candles up there, but yeah, she was making sure your girl got paid, okay? And I love that, so uh, shout out to Malika. Now, we gonna go to bed. And we gonna let these curls fall, y'all, cause it's, <laughs> you know what it's giving? The lion from the Wiz. Or I'm just my 
Cause I'm a mean old lion. <laughs> she's a mean old lion. No, I'm a nice lion. I'm a sweet lion. She's sweet. She's sweet, sweet like mangoes. Sweet like mangoes. You so fucking fake. <laughs> I love that song. Let's go fuel up. You ever just put like twenty dollars in your gas tank? <laughs> like, knowing, knowing you need about forty-five. Look. <laughs> we ain't. No, the thing is, I'm going to run the Costco tomorrow. I just want a little bit. You know, you just need a little bit to get you home. And then you're going to go to your gas station. You're going to go to Costco and get it for cheaper. Let's do it. I need you to. Y'all, I'm nervous. I got this resin in my... Let me put it on the floor. Nervous that like the bottle's gonna tip over <laughs> and have resin liquid all over the car. Oh, I should have took that to the studio. It's all good. Okay. I'm such an Ari fan. Like I'm such, I'm such an Ari fan. Like there's more than enough room for the girls. Like high key, low key debated going back to the studio to get the battery. Like, you know I love y'all. Or <laughs> more like she love running her mouth. That's what she love. No, I, I'm so close to the studio though. Like I'm just, I'm down the street. I could have went back to get the new battery, but whatever it is what it is. Yeah, okay, what I'm saying is that there's more than enough room. You know, like we hear it, Normani's new album is coming out. I'm so ready. Like do we need to have a listening party? Like. Oh, look, sound off in the comments. Sound off in the comments. Like, what do we need to do, y'all? Like, Normani is officially dropping. She's officially giving us the music. Like, I'm just so here for it. Yeah, no, but like, I'm a, I'm a big Ari fan. And I saw Ari. Oh, I, I think, I, think I, I brought y'all along for the vlog. Okay. Ari was giving. She was giving. She was like in a sequence, one piece set. Like, she's just beautiful. She's just like she's doing it for me and yeah like i'm loving i'm loving the new music and and like shout out to her for being in the game you know and fucking with the world shenanigans because people be on shenanigans especially for like black like why the why the world always got to give black women hell leave us alone like that like leave us alone okay <laughs> y'all ain't got nothing else to do but fuck with black women that's what <laughs> Tomorrow we gotta beat it. Are we gonna do it tomorrow? Y'all, I am back. I'm back on my bully. Have you ever just been like, you know what? Stop with the games. Stop with the games. I know I can be a better me. I know I there's just like <sighs> I believe in myself. I believe in you. I believe in us. Like I so believe in us. Like we got this, y'all. I've been running for my greatness. Have you ever just been have you ever been sleep on yourself? I've been sleep on myself. You know the thing is I haven't been sleep on myself. I've been afraid of myself. I've been I've been afraid of myself. Like the thing is, is talk about fear of success. I've been afraid of myself. Cause I'm like, if I really if I really, if I really go hard, and if I really do what the fuck I know that I'm supposed to do on this motherfucking planet, prepare to be sick of me. Prepare like y'all like I feel like the world couldn't even handle it. Like I'm like if if this is me giving 60%, what would 100% look like? Like I feel like I feel like the world I feel like the world like y'all would be fucking sick of me. Straight up. Straight hold on. Not me smelling like gasoline on my hand. Hold on. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I don't wait. I forgot to do the Wait a minute. We got to Y'all keep that hand sanitizer in the car. <laughs> The panty is not over, okay? Y'all, when my mom got COVID, two words, Mardi Gras. Okay, look, is that, is that two words or one? I don't know. One of them, one word, Nola, okay? She, anywho, so prepare to be sick of me. Prepare, when I really step into my truth, y'all better, shh, shh. <laughs> it's the curls, look.
know. Like in a y'all in a couple days it's gonna be litty. And like I'm I'm the type of and like that's why I started free forming my locks too. Like I always loved my hair like three days after whatever happened to it. Like three days after a wash, three days after a twist three days at like just like when curls fall when the roots get back frizzy like i like i like the messy tussled look you know but yeah y'all like i'm this this is my year of greatness <laughs> y'all we still waiting on the curls to fall <laughs> can you tell she just got back from ulta why did the lady sell me everything okay i was she was like, you know, Charlotte Tailsbury has a perfect foundation for you. That matches your skin though. Have you tried this this new NARS conceal? I was like, girl, put it on me. <laughs> put it on me. Let, me. let me see what you think. It's giving slay. What you think? It's giving slay. I came home, experimented with it, tested it out a little bit. I'm loving it. Okay, I'm gonna have to let y'all. Shall I let y'all know what I got? Okay, fine. I brought some of the stuff I got. I guess there is quite a bit of percentage of my um, subscribers who are ladies, but we got some guys here. I'm like, do the guys care? I don't know, but I'm super excited. And that's part, like, so part of the reason I'm kind of even in makeup mode is because one, I'm gonna be doing more events out in the streets, okay? I got quite a few uh, things that I have coming up in the springtime, but also the company that I get some of my goodies made at is testing out a new vegan leather purse. Well, they aren't testing it out. I mean, it's available, but it's like a new product. And so I'm testing it out. Okay, I put my artwork on one of um, the vegan leather purses. It's really getting, it's giving durability. It's giving, it's giving like we're here for it. I gotta see, I wonder if like maybe I missed where I could actually customize that. That would be super dope if I could put like my name or logo or something in there. It has this cute little leather, and it's all vegan leather. Yeah, so no animals were harmed, so that was nice. So I'm kind of thinking like, mm. Okay, fine, I brought some of the stuff I got. <laughs> so I can show you. <laughs> Clearly your girl loves Fenty, okay? So she's a Fenty Beauty stand. The foundation, the new one that I just got is by Charlotte Tillsbury 14 Cool. She's going full blown influencer. <laughs> She's kidding. Whenever I see somebody's makeup though that I like, I immediately like, I need to know the facts, okay? Especially with, with like my complexion anyway, y'all. Like she got, she's more like a neutral, cool tone. But the thing that I really love is this concealer by NARS in a mod, which is dark three. Yeah, cause I'm, I'm not with the super bright under eye. I'm really not. I love my cream blush by Fenty. Summertime wine. Setting powder by Fenty. Cashew. And it's big, y'all. I feel like this is gonna last me a lifetime. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And it has the, I love when things have the tray. So great. And look at this. I dropped it. Don't you hate when you drop? Yeah, I dropped it. But anywho, which one is this? Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I use both sides. Should we just do a get ready with me? Y'all probably want to know the list. This could really, this could really do it, you know? And I really do like that this one stands up versus like the fabric one doesn't. Currently what I have in the shop is uh, the fabric clutch bags. This is Pisces by the way, love her. Y'all probably saw the original that was up at uh, the Once Upon a Space Time exhibit. I'm just super excited for the journey ahead and I feel like this is, this is my level up era. This is your girl getting it together. Okay, like new, new hair, new makeup, new products. I feel like I'm finally, I finally arrived. <laughs> Knock on wood, okay? I feel like the minute the minute you think that, that's when like the universe sends you something else. But yeah, y'all still wait on these curls to fall, but like it's giving. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. We gonna rip and run and be out in the streets tomorrow. Under the lights, you look so amazing. It's the moonlight that makes me